One of the hardest things for me when I first moved to Florida was leaving behind all of my family and friends and everything I'd ever known in Illinois behind. When you live somewhere your entire life and then you finally just decide to up and leave one day and leave behind everything you've ever known, it can take a pretty big toll on you mentally. So today I'm gonna talk about how you can move to Florida and leave your family behind. I see a lot of people in the comments have been asking about this. So I know it's like a struggle that you, a lot of you out there are going through. So today I'm gonna address that for you. One thing to keep in mind is before I actually left Illinois, mentally I had already left. Because when I was 18 years old, I pretty much already decided at that point that I was gonna leave. I wanted to live somewhere warm. I had bought my Camaro that's a convertible and I could just picture myself driving that thing down somewhere in the sunshine and not being in the freezing cold anymore. I had no idea it was gonna end up being Miami Beach, but that's not the point. The point was, that mentally I was already gonna move, no matter what. You know, I'd already decided on that. I didn't know where I was gonna end up yet, but mentally I was already gone. But I didn't actually move until two years later when I was 20 years old. If you wanna learn more about my moving to Miami story and how I ended up here and all that stuff, I'll link the video right here so you guys can check it out. So my desire to leave basically boiled down to the fact that I wanted to leave Illinois for a warmer and more beautiful place where there was just gonna be more opportunity for me. Because at the time, I was still living with my parents in their basement, and I felt like if I were to stay there, then that would be my future for the foreseeable future, and I just wasn't having that, you know? And I didn't wanna work some dead-end job and just to move into some deadbeat apartment by myself over there and feeling miserable and depressed just to pay the bills, you know, for what? There was just nothing there for me. I wasn't having a good social life. I didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't enjoy doing a lot of the activities that are available for you to do there. You know, I like spending a lot of time outside, so I just knew I had to go. Similarly to yourself, a lot of people in my family have told me that they could never actually do what I did. You know, just like up and leave everything you've ever known and to go start a new life. Because let's face it guys, this is one of the toughest things you're ever going to have to do. It's very hard to do it but the only way to do it is just like rip off the band-aid and just do it. Because if you don't, you're never gonna do it, and then one day you're just gonna be asking yourself what if, and you're gonna have the regrets. You can always try to make the move, and if you're not satisfied with it, you can go back home. There's always the option to go back, but you can never go back in time in your life and wish you would've done something and changed the past. You can't do that. So I say, if you wanna do it, then you just need to rip off the Band-Aid and go for it. I guess one of the things that set me apart so much from my family and anybody else that has wished they would do something like this but didn't have the courage to do it was that I just wanted change so badly that I was willing to do whatever it took to get it. In this case, what it takes to get it was to move 1,500 miles away from home because Northern Illinois is pretty far away from anywhere that stays warm all year round. You got, you know, the Southwest, which is even farther away than here, and you have the South, and just happens to be South Florida. By the way, if you guys like these awesome sunglasses that I wear in all my videos, you can get a pair for yourself. I put a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so they'll give me a little bit of a commission if you buy it, but it really helps the channel, and it'll make you look cool. Also, I think something that has made this easy on me mentally, at first, you know, I would say the first six months were the toughest, but after that, I realized that I'm gonna visit, you know, once or twice a year, and I did do that for a while, you know? I was going back to Illinois like once or twice a year, visiting home, seeing my family, and now a lot of my family comes to see me maybe once a year or so. So it's a pretty healthy balance of still being able to see everyone. You're not like completely isolated on your own and you never get to see anyone. That's not what moving away from home is, you know? It's, it's just a matter of accepting the fact that you're not gonna see them every day. You're not gonna be there for birthday parties anymore. You're not gonna be there for major life events like weddings and things like that unless you make the effort to travel. It's just a fact of life. It's something that you're giving up. It's a sacrifice that you're making to give yourself a better life. And it's not for everyone. You know, some people, their main priority in life is to be there for all of those things. And if that's you, then probably moving to Florida by yourself without your family is not gonna be the right choice for you. But for me, 
you know, as much as I didn't want to miss stuff like that, even more so, I didn't want to miss out on my whole life. And you guys see here the life that I'm living in Florida and, you know, kind of what I do for fun and where I live and how beautiful it is and all the good things that have happened to me since I've been here. And guess what? None of that would have happened if I wouldn't have just taken the leap and moved here, regardless of how hard it was. So that's really the lesson here. Another thing I wanna mention in this video is just because you move to Florida or somewhere else and you start a new life and things are going your way, that doesn't mean you should turn your back on everything and everyone you've ever known. I still stay in touch with my family, I still love seeing them in person, and I always remember where I came from because at the end of the day, guys, all those people were there from me from day one, from the day I was born until the day I left home, and I'll never forget that. So don't you forget that either. A lot of times what happens to people is they leave, they go somewhere glamorous like this, and they start a new life, and they forget about everybody and where they came from. They feel like they're better than them or something at some point, and I, I'm not gonna do that, you know, because it's just wrong, first of all, and also, it's not me. It's not me to do that. No matter what happens here on YouTube or how popular this channel gets or how much money I ever end up making, I'm still gonna remember my mom and dad. I'm still gonna remember my grandparents and everybody that helped me get to this spot in my life. Because if it wasn't for them, I never would have been able to make it where I'm at now. And this mentality that I'm talking about is what makes it easy for me to stay away from home all of this time because leaving was the toughest part. You know, when you first leave, that's the hardest part, but I promise you it gets easier as the years go by. You know, already after my first year, I got really used to it. I wasn't feeling homesick anymore, and I was enjoying my life down here in Florida just like I am now. And I don't regret the move at all, not even one bit. And also, like I mentioned in my last video here, is that it's so easy to stay in touch now with all the things that we have like Skype and FaceTime and all these messenger apps and stuff and all that stuff didn't really exist when I first moved here. So it's just so easy to make the move now more than ever before and still stay in touch with all of your loved ones back home and not feeling like you're all alone. There's a good chance that if you're planning on moving to Florida all by yourself and you're gonna leave everybody behind, once you start telling people about it, you're gonna have a few people that are gonna be negative about it, they're gonna tell you all the reasons why it's not gonna work, and they're just gonna be the naysayers, you know? You have to avoid those people and not listen to them at all costs. It doesn't matter if it's your own parents, if it's your grandparents, if it's your aunt, your uncles, whoever it is, you have to just ignore that because that's toxic, and all that's gonna do is hold you back from doing what you really wanna do in life, and at the end of the day, guys, those people aren't you and they don't know what's best for you. So they're just gonna say all that stuff because maybe they're jealous of what you're gonna do or maybe they wish they could do what you're gonna do but they just don't have the courage to do it or they maybe just are so sad to see you leave that they're gonna say anything to try to make you stay. So try to just understand where they're coming from but don't give them the time of day because it will hold you back and if you listen to them enough, you're not gonna end up making the move and you're gonna be kicking yourself later. I mean, do you think I regret moving to this place right here? I mean, look where I'm at. Look where I'm shooting this video from. There's like $30 million mansions right behind me there. I got crystal clear water right here. I got sunshine beating down on me with blue skies. I love this. This is what I live for, you know? I wouldn't have it any other way. Back in Illinois right now, it's only in like the 40s, you know? And it's freezing. That's, that's too cold. I don't want to be in the 40s. So that's why I moved here. So I'm, there's a good chance that if you're watching this, that's you. So take my advice and just learn from what I did because it's gonna be tough, but you can do it. I know for sure you can do it. And this was pretty awesome hanging out with you guys over here by the water. So if you wanna see more like this, make sure you keep on hanging out with me and watch some more of my videos right over here. And I will see you guys over there.